Welcome, Virgo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. There are timestamps in the description box if you want to skip straight ahead. There's also information down there, like what type of decks that I'm using for this reading. Keep in mind, time is fluid. This could be past, present, or future for you. We're going to hop right in for Virgo. Okay, <laughs> Two of Pentacles, so Earth Energy, making a decision, feeling a decisive about something. Some of you, it could be a decision based around children, like would this person be a good parent? Would this person be, you know, somebody that I can see having a life with? Is this person mature enough? Is this person going to be committed enough? Are they going to stand up where it counts? Um, making a choice about something. Two of Cups, this could be a friendship. Some of you may be afraid to take a leap of faith with this person because there is a friendship, okay? Um, definitely... You know, it's a very sweet kind of energy, though. It's kind of like very romantic. You know, there's definitely something happening here, but there's a fear involved. Like, what if I get my, you know, feelings invested into this and it doesn't work out for us or I ruin our friendship or, you know, there's questions here. Is this person going to choose you possibly? Two Cups is water energy. We do have the Eight of Pentacles here. You could work with this person, go to school with this person. Some of you are just really trying to stay busy right now. It's like trying not to overthink about this person or the situation. It's like keep your mind occupied. Um, because you have some kind of decision, something weighing heavily on your mind right now. You do feel very passionately about this person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Like you want to charge in, like you want to move forward, but you're trying to kind of slow yourself down, rationalize, think, is this right? You know, can I trust this situation? You know, maybe you've been hurt in the past, or maybe you have a fear of, you know, it not working out or getting your emotions invested here. You know, you try to be very guarded with that, you know, but you're trying to stay very busy, trying to just kind of find projects, things to do, keep your mind occupied, keep, you know, working, taking extra shifts, doing more, housework, you know, projects, things around the house. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is kind of waiting, anticipating for something. Preparing for something. Like, you, you may know that this is going to move forward, but you're just trying to, like, postpone it or trying to... You know, get this person off your mind because it feels very heavy in a sense. We'll get clarifiers as well. Three of Pentacles. I don't feel like you can fight this, though, with this person. Because, like, they're waiting for this. They're yearning for this. They want to move forward with you. They're waiting for you to make a decision, possibly. And, again, it could be flipped the reversed. Uh, you could wait for them to make a decision. But it's, like, you know, optimistic about the future to come. It's kind of like just kind of enjoying every step of the way. This person, like, they're not trying to rush you. They're not trying to force you ahead. They still have faith. They're holding on that this is going to work out. Like, the, nothing's going to come to the two of you. You're meant to be together. Like, it's going to happen. There is a chemistry here. They do, you know, you do want to charge ahead with this person. But you're kind of like on the fence. Or some of you are just kind of stressed out about work. Like you have a lot on your plate. Friends, family, children. Um, travel could be an, an issue here. Like needing to see each other. Queen of Swords under the deck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're trying to kind of be more logical here. Okay. More analytical. You know. Head over heart. You know. Can I trust this? I don't really want to get, you know, my feelings involved. If I'm going to get hurt here. You know, I've hoped for things in the past that didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to. You know, maybe with this person or past relationships. So You may be afraid of leaving something behind, possibly. Or a change. Like, maybe the friendship would change and it could never go back to what it was if it didn't work out. Or maybe one of you is committed to someone else and you may have to walk away from that. And, you know, there's a financial loss. Could be a job. Could be travel. You could live apart from this person. Let's get clarifiers. That's what's going on. For Virgo. Why is two of pentacles here, please? Why is two of pentacles here? Possibly need to fight for this. You're kind of fighting your emotions. Like you're afraid to invest into this connection for whatever reason. You're confused because this could be a past life soulmate, a childhood sweetheart. Could be an ex for some of you. That is definitely not for all of you. Uh, you may have children. That could be a big issue here. Uh, some of you are afraid. Okay. Like I just get like this this feeling here from this of like, 
you know, kind of fight and wrestling with your emotions, kind of being back and forth in your mind. Can you trust this? Can you give to this? You know, it feels, you know, it feels right. It feels good. But can I trust it? You know, maybe you've been deceived a lot in the past. You're confused. You know, this connection, it kind of may even took you by surprise in a sense. Like the connection, like whether this is a new person or a past person, like just that instant recognition of this person. Like I've known you before. You feel like home to me. You know, could this work? You know, would this person be a good, you know, husband, father, wife, mother? Would this person be, you know, a good partner for me? Like would we be a good match for each other? You know, you need to be sure you're not somebody who makes impulsive decisions. Yeah, trying to make a decision about love here. <sighs> yeah, it's, you're, you could be afraid that it's just lust, okay, that it's just desire. That could be a part of your fear. I feel like somebody else had a similar reading, and I want to say it was Aquarius or it might have been Capricorn, maybe Sag, but uh, somebody else has a very similar kind of reading to this. Um, it, you know, it's like... <sighs> There's a very deep connection here. This definitely feels like possibly a past life soulmate or, you know, something like that. But Gemini energy, fire energy here. This is a lot of attraction, though. A lot of passion. You're on the fence because, you know, is it just lust? Is it love? You know, I feel like you do have deep emotions for this person, but your fear could be on their side of things. What if they don't really have genuine feelings for me? What if it's just lust for them? What if they don't want more? What if I try to make it go ahead and they don't want that? You know, because you could ruin things. You could ruin this friendship or this connection. You could be afraid of pushing this person away by, by telling them what you want or what you're hoping for. Could be a choice in love being made too. Really, yeah, you are in your head. You're trying to work, keep yourself busy, find things to do because Nine of Swords here, it's like, you know, restless, you know, sleepless nights. You Maybe some of you are up at night, you can't stop. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. Okay, so here you are. You're at work. What did I say? You're at work. You're busy. You're doing things. You're around the house. You're washing dishes. You're, you're doing whatever you're doing, right? Running errands, you know, driving in the car. You're trying to keep yourself busy. Keep your mind occupied because... Again, we have the Knight of Swords, which is the Nightmare card of the Tarot. This is being up. This is being restless, not being able to sleep, worry, insecurity, fear, doubt, okay? In your head constantly. Here we have the Four of Swords, which is like being in your head during the daytime, meditating, contemplating, daydreaming, fantasizing. You're, you can't sleep. You can't, you know, all throughout the day, you're, this person's heavily on your mind. They're, they're heavily there, okay? You can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop wondering about it. You're trying to stay busy, get this out of your head because it's like it's, it's eating away at you. You're stressed. You're overwhelmed. This person, it's like you eat, sleep, this person. It's like, it's, ooh, oh, Virgo. You could be afraid they may not leave something behind, okay? If you ask them to, or vice versa, maybe they wouldn't want this, or you could lose what this is. You're conflicted because you're yearning for this. You want this. You want to move forward. They want to, I think they want the same thing, but it's like there's there's an issue. There's an obstacle here. There's like conflict internally, maybe externally for some of you, kind of wrestling with your mind, wrestling with your emotions here. Ten of Pentacles. You could, you know, you want to build with this person. This person likes taking it slow, though. I am going to tell you that. they This person, they think about you a lot, okay? But they're wrestling with themselves. Is this a good idea or not? They're kind of in the same place that you are. There's like a mirroring energy to the two of you. Um, they like taking it slow, though. They feel like eventually this could definitely turn into something here. But they're not They're not trying to rush it. They're trying to take it slow. They're enjoying every step of the way. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Queen of Cups, male or female. Okay. This person's been guarding their heart, guarding their emotions. They've been really good at that. But they, this person is deeply sensitive, deeply emotional, highly intuitive. Um, that you're dealing with. They also see you as like a healer. They could have been, they could have rejected you in the past, or they may regret have met regret that. Maybe you rejected them, or they made a move and you didn't you weren't realizing that it was a move. That's what I want to say for some of you. They tried to make a move, but it wasn't as big as you like needed it to be or wanted it to be. That you want it to be more clear. You don't like guessing games, okay? Something may have to end here, okay? In the order for this person to move towards you, Queen of Pentacles. There you are. Hmm. 
you could be fearful that if you don't take a chance now, you could lose this person forever, but you're also afraid that if you make a move towards them, what if they don't want the same thing and you ruin whatever this is? Because it's like, what if you push them away by asking for more or telling them what you're hoping for? Um, they, something has to give. You may be asking them to relocate, change their jobs, leave their situation, vice versa. Uh, but you're in your head, you can't stop thinking about it. It's like you're up at night, it's consuming you in a sense. And again, it all could be flipped or reversed. If that's not you, that could definitely be their energy. Like I said, there's a lot of mirroring energy here as well. Let's see what else. What else? Okay. Somebody else got these exact two cards. Who was it? Was it Scorpio or Libra? Let's pull you one more. Let's actually pull you one more of these cards. So just divine timing. Okay, so a couple of things here. Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Okay. You do understand. Like you are a very intuitive person. I feel like the person you're dealing with is as well. There's just this mirroring energy to the two of you. Um, trust the inner voice and guidance. You're worried about the situation. I want to say with this person, they could be fearful of, you know, moving forward with you for the same reasons. You know, surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help you resolve conflicts in a previous relationship. I feel like you're both, in a sense, fearful or talking yourselves. I feel like it's more so for yourselves. Like talking yourselves out of making the move or talking yourselves out of moving forward because, the, well, well, this could happen or this could happen or what if this didn't work out or what if I ruined things? But trust your intuition here don't worry about all the what is because that's not even in the here and now that's a possibility sure but it's not even something that you need to actively be worrying about trust your intuition here surrender to divine timing sometimes divine time may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow trust that things will unfold here for the two of you as they are meant to don't try to rush don't force it if it's not ready you know what i mean if something's born prematurely it's not going to survive it's not going to thrive it's not going to grow okay it's about nurturing it protecting it allowing things to be prepared okay so that when the next step is taken you're both ready for it okay it's like you do have this inner knowing the two of you will be together or should be together don't force it okay and stop talking yourself out of you know this this is going to go wrong or i can't say anything or i can't make the first move trust your intuition and allow yourself to, the gift of not always needing to be right you know what i mean like trust that inner voice that's telling you that this is meant to be not your brain on the other hand well this may not work out well if you never try you never know same thing for this person there's a fear of it ending. <laughs> what Spirit's showing me, it's kind of like you'd rather live with disappointment than regret. I'd rather, you know, try and know for certain where I stand with this person than miss my chance and never know. So I feel like they'd end something here to move towards you. Or they'd make some kind of change here. Alright, so this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.